Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video. So today we're going to be doing a Q&A that was originally supposed to be fully based on the topic of confidence and how to grow in your confidence, but when I asked you to ask me questions regarding confidence on Instagram, a lot of you guys sent in different types of questions on relationships, honoring your husband, modesty, and some on confidence as well, but I thought that the other questions were super good that I decided to just make this video um, all inclusive of all of those because I didn't want to keep those answers from you guys because I think they're super cool and good to talk about on this channel. And so I will be including those, but I think later on I would love to do a video fully on confidence, but today we're going to just do all the questions that you guys asked. So the first question is, about confidence and it says how to not doubt yourself and truly be you and I would say for this one first you got to know who you are if you're going to be yourself and with that I get reminded of a time where God had me literally write down just like who I was flat out in my notebook who I was as a kid specifically like um, you know when I was like 10 years old I loved hanging out with friends and just be a goofball and I loved horses and I was just super free back then and in this time in my life where God had me do this I was kind of I just didn't know who I was because I was comparing myself to so many people that I was kind of forgot that I was a social butterfly and forgot that I was a goofball and um, and God really reminded me through just remembering who I was as a kid and who you are as a kid like those personality traits change but they don't really go away usually and so I would say that was a really powerful thing invite God to just show you and remember like Lord who was I younger before all the comparison before all the standards of beauty and standards of personality and idealism and all these things like who was I who did you actually create me to be be really mindful and intentional of staying true to that person and if you feel like you're kind of veering off it's okay to like you know, experiment with different things, but um, yeah, just say, be really, try to be really mindful of walking in who you are. The next question says, as a wife, should you listen to your husband's opinion on the way you dress or should you be yourself always? Um, and this question, this is, you know, the kind of things I'm like, oh, this is so good to talk about. And so um, I'm really big on honoring your husband and that doesn't always mean, I mean, if you and your husband are both in a really healthy emotional place, I think usually if your husband asks you to not wear something because they feel uncomfortable with what you're wearing, usually you're like, okay, I'm gonna honor you and respect how you feel because you are more important than what I wanna wear. But there are some cases that I know where men can be insecure or jealous or controlling, and that's an unhealthy way where they may ask you, hey, I don't want you to wear like intense stuff just like if it's a little too intense and you feel like it might be a little controlling I would say just bring it to the Lord and uh, first discuss with God how can I honor especially if it's your husband how can I honor my husband how can I communicate my heart to him and pray for him that if there's any issue of jealousy or insecurity that God would speak to them but if your husband is you know if you feel that he's emotionally healthy or if it's not coming from a place of insecurity or jealousy then yeah I would say you know, honor your husband first and, for, well, first and foremost, honor God. But honoring your husband is also honoring God. And even look at your motives of why you want to wear the things that are maybe making him uncomfortable and look at that within yourself and be like, okay, I want to honor you. And so why am I wanting to wear these really short shorts? Like just filter all your motives, everything through the Lord. If you can hear a leaf blower, there's people gardening outside. Sorry about that, but I don't want to lose the daylight today. So I'm filming now. This next question says, how to stay consistent when you find the place of confidence? Um, this, if you figure it out, let me know, because I honestly don't know. Um, you know, I think that my goal is to be confident always and love who I am always. But there are honestly just days where I don't and I just feel super uncomfortable in my own skin. I feel dislike and hatred toward my body image, all these things. And so I would say, don't be afraid of the days where you don't feel confident, but be very real and raw and honest with yourself and bring it before the Lord and before yourself. And don't feel like you have to just blanket it all over. Like, no, 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 I have to be confident. 
um, I would just say walk through those, bring it before the Lord, and I think that those dips and highs will get smaller and smaller as you go along. I literally stopped for like an hour and they weren't doing this and now they're doing it again. I'm gonna do a pause. Hold on. Cheers. I seriously don't know how anyone can leave flow that long. Anyways, we're back. I made a matcha. Okay, next question. Are you or would you be okay with your husband following random girls on social media that you both don't know? Uh, this one is like, for me, I can only give you my personal opinion, but for me, if it's somebody who's like super scandy and wearing like no clothes and this girl, then no, I would be like totally not okay with that. And I would hope that my husband wouldn't be okay with that either. But like for Job, he's a photographer. And so he follows a lot of girls who are photographers because he pulls from, you know, what they do and their edits and the way that they do shoots and stuff. So stuff like that, I'm like, yeah, that's totally fine. I don't feel weird about that at all. But if it's someone, you know, sometimes you may feel a little bit weird about someone for no reason at all. And you're like, they're not posting scandalous pictures they're you know they seem like a sweet person but if you feel weird about someone and you just don't know why um i really encourage you to to lean into that with the lord and invite your husband into it and just tell him like hey i don't know why i feel unsettled about this person that you're following but this is the way i feel what do you think about it and talk about it together and i'm sure that he would you know talk about it with you and be honoring in that. So this next one's on confidence again, and it says, I feel like my confidence is shattered by comparing myself to others, especially close friends. And that is something that I, I know to struggle with. That is so hard because you love that person, you love your close friends, but at the same time, you're struggling with this comparison and wanting to love them well, but then also, you know, struggling with those types of feelings. And so, um, Honestly, my advice to this would be to bring it into the light. I talked about that in one of my last videos, is when you expose something into the light, it takes away all power from the enemy to manipulate and control that area or uh, speak accusations and lies when you're exposing it to the light and inviting the Holy Spirit in. And so I would encourage you, if you feel comfortable, even just like this might be kind of scary sounding, but straight up talk to that friend of yours and just tell her like, hey, or a guy, I don't know, you know, different things you can compare, but tell that person, I'm really struggling with, you know, this and this and this, comparing myself with you, and I just want to protect our relationship. I don't want to leave room for the enemy to come in and accuse and bring these lies and division, and so I want to expose it into the light and just confront you and tell you that this is what I'm struggling with. And that's such a honoring and amazing thing to do as a friend for your friend. And you guys can just pray together, break all agreements with the accusations you may have had. I think that's really powerful. But if you don't feel comfortable talking to that friend uh, specifically, then you can totally talk to, you know, a mentor in your life, a leader, someone that you can also just expose it into the light. Um, but I do encourage... If you feel led, you have to pray about it to talk to the person directly because I've had to do that many times, just confront people and share, hey, I don't want the enemy to get in between our relationship because I love you and I care about you. And so I just want to be real and raw and honest. And the friends that I've done that with have always, always been really thankful because a lot of times they can feel that and they don't know what it is and they think that they're maybe hurting you or doing something wrong. Um, so relationship, any type, it's really good to have just open communication in a very gentle and loving way. So this is actually the last question and it says, being a Christian, do you think it's okay to wear a bathing suit at the beach? And yeah, I think it's okay to wear a bathing suit, um, but what type of bathing suit? I don't have like a legit like yes and no answer. I do think that it's important to uh, be honoring to the men around you, to the Lord, to yourself, to the word of God. Um, you know, the Bible talks about modesty and. And I would honestly love to do a whole video diving in, even for myself, on the topic of modesty and honoring with your appearance because I 
have a lot to learn on that as well. And I don't have, I don't feel like I have like a, a really solid stance on what I feel even for myself conviction wise, what is okay and what's not. Um, for me personally, I feel okay with wearing a bikini swimsuit, but I don't feel okay with wearing like super, super cheeky bottoms that are, you know, basically a thong or like a really small top that shows a lot of your boobage. Um, so I would just say, I guess a good way for me to think about, I have a husband and so Job, I'm like, if another girl was wearing what I'm wearing, would I be like, ugh, oh, like bummed out because Job is having to see what that person's wearing? Would it make me feel sad or like, just weird, you know, that like these girls are wearing that in front of my husband. And so that's kind of a good way to think I'm wearing this. And if some other girl's husband was standing here with me, would I feel okay wearing this? And would I feel like I'm honoring him as a Christian woman in the Lord, honoring the Lord as well. So that's kind of a good way to look at it and just think about like, would I be okay? Or even Jesus is everywhere. If Jesus was looking at me right now, wearing this in front of everyone, would he feel, would I feel like okay with what I'm wearing? Um, and sometimes I feel like when you think that way, even me, I'm like, maybe I wouldn't wear that bathing suit. You know, when I really think about it and take a moment, but I think that in our society and today, like it's super acceptable to wear basically nothing. There's all this like free body craziness, but I don't know if that's really, um, honoring to the Lord it may be acceptable in culture today but um but we are not to live as the world lives and so what does it look like for you to be set apart in every single area of your life and not be legalistic or be you know all these rules and everything but I do think it's very important to pray about those things and be honoring with what you wear um before the Lord and so yeah I would love let me know like seriously in the comments or wherever um, if you guys feel like you would want to talk more about modesty because it is kind of a hard topic to talk about because it really depends on each person's individual um, for the majority like their individual conviction but if you would want me to just dive into that more and share what I learn and what I feel um, I would love to do that even for myself and so let me know but those are all the questions that I have for today I love you all so much and I'm thankful that you joined me in these questions and thankful for all of you who have encouraged me with all your super kind messages that really really does help me just feel uplifted and encouraged I don't know in the future if I will continue doing every single Saturday because this season is um, a lot is changing and it's pretty busy and so I do want us to keep making content but I don't know if it'll be weekly um, so just hang in there with me. Eventually I will get back to every single Saturday, but I'm just trying to have grace where grace is needed. Hopefully I will continue to do that, but I love you guys so much and I'm really excited to be doing this. So love you all and I will see you hopefully next Saturday, but I'll see you soon regardless. Don't be, don't be.